welcome to the Wealthy Lala Show with myself, Lori Larson. Today is episode 166-2. How are you today? How was your weekend? For those of you that are listening today, which is a Monday, it would have been the weekend for you. How was it? it? Oh, man, it was, you know, it was such a good weekend for me for awarenesses. I'm so incredibly grateful. Um, actually had a bit of a intense um oh just you know energies are just up and you know I've been actually noticing so I don't define my world by things like mercury retrograde if you guys have heard of it um, I'm not sure exactly how it works but it's something about when the moon goes retrograde or goes back or something like that Mer or mercury does um but you can you can have like certain things are impacted like our world our earth is actually impacted by the moon and the stars and the you know stuff like that and i remember this because when i would work at, at a hospital uh we would have like crazy shifts around a full moon like people would actually be working and they'd be like man things are kind of crazy around here and be like, I wonder if it's a full moon and be damned if it wasn't. So it was pretty, pretty cool. So anyways, um, I just was been noticing the couple of times that I sort of briefly went on Facebook this weekend that someone was saying something there was like August on um, August 8th. And then there was something like August 11th. And then there was something August 10th. And, and I was like, okay, just be aware that sometimes these energies can actually impact us. And, you know, I've chosen a lot of change in my life. I've, you know, when, how do I say this? I just felt unhappy before. I just knew something was wrong. It was something was off. This, I don't want to say wrong. But anyways, I knew that I wanted something different. And so as I chose towards that, you know, took different classes, different workshops, did different things, and things came up. I got clarity. I read different books. I took different workshops, read blogs, you know, just online videos, YouTube. Like, honestly, I just get drawn to all these different magical places. And th the things that I was asking about that didn't feel quite right for me started to unravel and change. And especially with me deciding to have courage that maybe things that I had decided were a certain way were not actually that way. Would I be willing to try something different? You know, it's kind of like that whole, like, if things are, oh, how's it? Oh, if you keep doing the same thing over and over again, oh, it's an Einstein quote. Oh, now I got to Google it. Einstein quotes, um, uh, doing the same thing over again let's see what let's see what this oh the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result okay so it it says like this particular thing says that there's no substance of evidence that einstein wrote or spoke the statement above but it's been credited to him so regardless insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result you actually have to change what you're choosing, what you're thinking, what you're, how you're reacting, if you actually want something different in your life to change. And I tried the old way of trying to get everybody else to change. I tried to get other people to change. I wished and hoped and dreamed that other people would change or that my body would change or that whatever would change. And it was not till, and I got to say this completely honestly, and I was a little slow, maybe a bit stubborn, to getting there. Uh, but I definitely, it took me a while to sort of, and be brought to my knees more than once to actually go, huh, I wonder, I wonder, 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 wonder why. Hmm. Who wrote the book of love? Okay. So that was a bit of a sidetrack. Anyways, it got me really wondering uh, and surrendering to the fact that maybe if I actually change me, then maybe my life will actually change. So seriously, it was a last resort of me trying <laughs> pretty much everything that I could find to change. 
uh, and then I let it go. So, um, and so I just kind of wonder. Anyways, so, so as much as this may be really hard for you to hear, because it was actually really hard for me to hear at first. That's why I fought it for so long. I fought it, resisted it, ignored it, avoided it. I actually thought that I wanted to. <sighs> not do it. I wanted to avoid it. I wanted other things, other people, other tools to be the answer. I even tried that too, where I did workshops, where there was tools, where I tried to make the tools do the, be the change, but it was still me that had to be the change. And on the flip side of that, what I do have to say is that it is so unbelievably, incredibly worth it. It is beyond words worth it if you want to choose to change the way you think, think to change the way you be, to change the way you act. And, and I mean, like the essence of who we are stays the same. Like the essence of who we are stays the same. And it's not like we change, but yet there is reactions. Like it's just really hard to explain. Like, I don't know if it's really something you can explain until you actually have the experience of it. Because I remember thinking, well, then I'm going to change all of me. Well, I don't. I don't want to do that. Well, actually, what's happened is the essence of me is still there. Who I am, what I like, what I desire, what I'm interested in, what's fun for me, what lights me up is pretty much still the same. It's just that I react differently. I think differently about things. I'm even more open-minded than I was before. I'm way more willing to not make things significant, to just chill, to surrender, to let go, to uh, let someone have their point of view, uh, to stand up for myself. Um, yeah, it's way more full-bodied. It's more a full-bodied experience of myself, and I'm so incredibly grateful for it. And, you know, um, I had someone ask me, like, what are you going to do your show on today? And I was like, I don't know, you know, maybe on gratitude. And yet that's not actually what's coming out of my mouth. It's actually really being willing to choose and live in a way that's different, being willing to choose something that's a bit out of your comfort zone. Oh man, you know, this kind of law of attraction thing, quantum field responds not to what we want, but it responds to who we're being. It is incredible that when you have unresolved stuff in your world, you're energetically vibrating that. And that's where the stuff that can show up like a shit show out of nowhere shows up. And so when you actually change, like when you heal those old parts of you, like I've had something that I always knew was wrong, but I didn't even know that I knew. Okay. And I have cleaned it up and taken care of it and healed myself and got myself to a different perspective and allowed myself. Like that's the other thing. I had to be willing to allow myself a different experience. I had to be, allow myself to have a life of ease, a life of not suffering anymore, a life of not upset, uh, a life of not feeling guilty, shame, blame, regret. Actually, regret's never been a big one in my world. I was more the blame, shame, guilt thing, especially the shame and guilt. And I'm willing to not feel guilty about things anymore. And I'm willing to not shame myself anymore. And I'm willing to have less judgment for myself and others. And, you know, just recently, I, there was a person in my life who, um, God, there's, I could just so see myself in this person. 
and before I would have judged them. And I'm just like, you know, it, it's just whatever it is for them. Like, I don't want to decide because really it's, they would know what was actually true for them and underneath it all, but they're hurting is wounds from the past and seeing how we use those wounds to then try and control our environment now to control it by getting people to work as, you know, behave a certain way or do certain things like, Oh gosh. <sighs> if I'm being really not clear about that, it's just cause it's, it, it's being honoring of the other person or people. It's not my space to talk about it in the detail and maybe the clarity that I have because it's not mine. And God, I just so get it. Like when you see somebody hurting in your life or doing crazy things, there's unresolved stuff underneath. You know, and the thing is, is we buried it sometimes for so long, you know, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 years that we just think it's normal. We don't even know that it's a problem. And so if you've got stuff showing up in your life that just doesn't make sense to you, ask the universe to show you what it is for you. Ask the universe to help you out. And ask, your, ask the universe for the guidance and the support to go through it with ease. It may not be easy, but it will be ease, okay? And like that's what I'm really noticing with this ah, is, you know, really letting yourself have the ease, letting yourself have a completely different experience. God, you know, I can, I'm really aware that I'm not really being really clear, but everybody, it, it's just because everybody has different things going on in their lives. If you've got stuff in your life that isn't working the way you would like it to, there is something unresolved in your world that you may be or not be aware of. And it's the stuff that's that unconscious stuff that you can allow yourself to uncover, discover, and you can ask for as much ease as possible with it. Now, I had heard something the other day that was really cool. It was like, if you have like a lot of synchronicities in your world and things just sort of come together with ease, well, that's how you know that you're being more and more congruent with your life, with yourself, with your energy, and you're, you're clearing the stuff in your world. Because I'm noticing, like, honestly, every single day, I will have magic show up in my life synchronicities. Things will just work for me with ease. Things will turn out better than I possibly thought. I will choose things that don't even make sense and they will work together. Like one of the things um, last week, I went and met a girl for lunch an hour and a half away from Edmonton. Then I, I got the hit to go to Edmonton and take care of something. So I went there. So you would think, well, why not just pick another day? I'm so much farther away from home. Uh, why don't I just, you know, wait and I'll go a different day when it makes more sense. Well, I got, no, it was actually light. So it wouldn't make logical sense. Why would I drive so much farther to go do this thing? So I went and I did this thing and then I got the hit to go to this different town to get some groceries. Well, as I went into this different town, I ended up running into my hubby. Like, you have to know the synchronicity of where he drives for his job and how many places he's not at and how many different places he goes to that the synchronicity for him and I to run into each other. And we actually ran into each other twice that day. Well, I'm aware that that's the universe contributing to me. Like, how cool is that? So anyways, ah, oh, gosh, you guys, ah. Oh, I wish, I desire with this show that there's a place in your world where you could allow yourself to receive, that there is more ease for you 
possible than you could ever imagine. That there's more magic, there's more fun, there's more playfulness. That all those difficult things that we've had in our lives, that if you actually clean them up as hard as they may be in that moment, and I look back at my life and my journey with this stuff, and some parts have been hard, but I've had ease with it in the fact that I've had tools, I've had support in so many different ways, and that it was so worth it to keep going, that the ease can come for you. Just don't stop. Give yourself the gift of trusting yourself. And if something isn't working ease for you, then ask questions as to what it is and ask the universe to help you out. And maybe I can be a part of that universe that assists you. So anyways, you guys have a great rest of your day. Big hugs. Thanks so much for listening. I adore ya. I do. Okay. See you on the next one.